Sunday. Here we are at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey, and we're going to work on some scenery today. Finally getting the scenery. What I've done is I've lined out all the marks on my layout where I want to put some texture. In other words, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the farm area right now, and I'm going to lay a little bit of sheetrock joint compound, which is this stuff here that you use on sheetrock when you put a wall up. I'm going to use that to build up some of the areas like where the animals hang out here and there's no real grass or any turf or anything. Um, and then I'm going to paint some color on the whole area. And then I'll go back and probably use some turf material and put it down like into the farmer's yard and around the different areas here. So that's today's goal. We'll see how far we get. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rough up this surface here where I'm going to put this joint compound so it's got some tooth to, to adhere to this because if I don't, when it dries, it'll probably start to lift up around the edges. So I just take a saw of some sort. You can use a saw, you can use a knife blade, like a flat knife blade, you can use anything. But just rough this surface up. Right in here is where I'm going to do it. This is the farmyard and this is going to be dirt, you know, without grass on it because the animals are chewing on the grass and walking around on it all day. So I'll just take my knife and I'll just scrape this surface until I get the whole thing done. You see I already did it, but I was showing you for the video. Then, when that's done, blow it off a little. Take this joint compound and I'll just slap it down on here. Then I'm going to take a spatula and I'm just going to spread this out. Spread it all around. And when I get this done, I'll give you a look at it. I put down my joint compound here in the farmyard. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this stenciling brush and stenciling brushes are great because they're flat and they have nice bristle. And I'm going to use it to put some texture on this. So basically as this starts to dry, give it a little bit of time to set up. Then I'll take the brush and just bounce it off the top of this material. You can see it puts a little bit of texture in there. Just enough that when I paint it and I put a wash on it, it'll show up and it'll look like dirt and terrain and not just um, speckling compound. There, so I'll do this whole thing. And then the next step is I'll take my buildings and I'll place my buildings into the material. That way I'll know where they go. I've stippled all the texture onto the groundwork here. So what I'll do now is I'll take the building pieces. I'll start with the fence here and I'll put it down. And what I can do, this will give me an idea when I'm done where the fence goes, obviously, and push it down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the buildings. And I remember where they go, this one went here. And I'll just push them down just a little bit. Leave them there, and I'll take the little chicken coop and put it in there, and press them down a little bit. And then I'll take the corn crib or whatever it is and push that one down. Now my farmyard is laid out. I have my groundwork. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this yellow ochre paint. It's Woodland Scenics, it's called Earth Colors. And I'm gonna paint all the groundwork around here with this. And then after that's done, we'll take some turf and we'll lay the turf down over top of it. As you can see, what we're doing now is we're putting down some base coats of paint. And you're gonna say, wow, that's really a bright color to put down for where turf is gonna go. Well, what this is, is this is the undercoat for the turf materials. In other words, we'll paint this ochre color, it's like a dirt color on, and then we'll take greens and browns and different colors of turf, and we'll glue it down onto that. So this is basically an undercoat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint anywhere where there's gonna be turf, you know, groundwork, grass, things like that, this color. So that'll be down here, here, and I'll go up here. And this is really key. One of the reasons I drew out all the streets and everything is so that I can see exactly where I need to paint to do turf work. There you have it. We have our base colors down on the layout. Now when you look at it, it's kind of stark. You look at it and say, oh, well, those colors are really stark. But they're just an undercoat. In other words, we're going to come back next week and we're going to dry brush all the gray, which means we're going to highlight everything and it'll lighten it up. And then we're going to take next week, we're going to use the turfs and we're going to put turf down wherever there's groundwork. And it's really going to make a difference. Next week, this whole thing's going to pop and really start to look like a train layout. But here you go. This is uh, all the undercoats, all the underpainting, and we're ready to go with the groundwork material. So we'll see you next Sunday at AAA Hobbies.